hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to show you how to make the surrounding barrels explode when i shoot one of the barrels this. so when i shoot one of the barrels all the surrounding barrels will go off let me do another demonstration let's add two multiple barrels this time and explode this one right all of them exploded okay so that's what I'm going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me Alright, so first of all, I should show that I have made some main changes in here, this part. Uh, these are just bug fixes because I did this part uh, to give my character ability to move sideways when I am in the aiming mode, like this. It was not possible previously, so now it can move it all because of this part and the next thing and also I made some changes here under the bow and arrow in this draw arrow and input action draw arrow I connected this show warning part to this one so that whenever I'm I ran out of arrows my character will automatically unequip uh, the bow and change to the melee weapon other than that I did some change uh, previously it was this one was here and this one was after that so I changed the order so that uh, this otherwise the, this part would not take place because bow equipped would be set to false in here right say that uh, no, right now let's uh, get started with these barrels so today what I am going to do is this uh, when at the moment if I shoot one of the barrels then the adjacent barrel or the barrel right next to that is not blowing off but it should happen because uh, that's the way it should be if I shoot this one and if this one blows off then this one also should blow so let's do that part today I'll open my destruct explosive barrel object and when I'll do it like this uh, let me create a custom event explode and connect it like this all right and disconnect it because I need this to be a different part and here I'll call explode event like this it's a small thing not very important right now after the explosion I need a way to determine the surrounding barrels or surrounding objects so we can do it like this we can do a trace spear trace multi spear trace for 
objects let's do this one and the start must be get actor location and the end also should be the same and the radius let me promote this to a variable I'll call this one mm, explosion radius right and object types uh, let me make array and I should trace for what is this object type this is destructible yeah so I need to trace for destructible object and also I need to trace for phones because uh, if there are any enemy characters around this barrel when it explodes that guy that character should also be affected okay now these are the hits that I'm gonna go get as the results so let's first print now do a for each loop and see what are the objects that I'm going to get as the result split get name not the path name get name get object name maybe display name okay let's print this so that let me increase the time of the print to 10 seconds so that we can identify what are the objects names that I will get here and I forgot to change this variable value let's say explosion radius is 500 units and also let's draw debug type or duration okay right and tracing got this explosive object 2 as the result so this was too far away so let me move it a little bit closer and let's try again right this time it identified the both barrels right now let's do this get a reference to this actor and let's call on a row hit is not doesn't make sense here uh, maybe yeah we should define another method let's say on fire hit because this is a explosive barrel and when the barrel is exploded the fire will hit the surrounding objects and I'll add another input here like this the type of actor so 
compile and compile now what I have to do is this let's call on fire heat event and for that one also I'm gonna call this explode event actually later I'm going to plan things like depending on the distance from this sector to source sector I'm going to do some calculations like if it is a character then I can do the amount of damage that the character must have so for now I'll just call the explore event and compile and here I'm gonna call on fire on fire hit like this and uh, no this is not the source actor no it's wrong I should call it like this on fire hit a message source actor should be self that means this actor so let's do something like this let's add a small delay when hit by fire let's add a small delay before it blowing off let's add some random no the float in range minimum would be 0.5 seconds and maximum would be 2 seconds right let's see if that works and why didn't the other one go blue I think it did okay let's try again alright there's a little problem here the origin of this object is here and the static mesh by mistake I have moved away so let's reset it right and move it this time correctly right now it should work okay it worked and that's all I want to do so you can disable this tracing debug type to none so that you, you wouldn't see those trace lines and yeah that's all I'm going to do for today and later I will add this uh, uh, what, ha what should happen to the characters when they are hit by fire as well and yeah if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club right here uh, link could be in the description below and thank you for watching i'll also upload the latest co source code as well so thank you for watching and see you in the next episode goodbye